I stumbled upon this opportunity with peace education, you know, so which was again working with the youth. Uh, and I could connect to it basically, you know, because as I said, we were, um, I was born and brought up in Igatpuri and there were these uh, Muslim communities and then uh, Hindu communities. And I always got these messages from my family that, you know, uh, you can be friends with the Muslim people, but you can't be like really good friends with them. You can't trust them. You know, I grew up with all of these stereotypes. And again, uh, because uh, the Muslims supposedly, I mean, they're the stereotype that they all consume beef and, you know, they kill the cows and all of that. So I, I very much grew up with that, uh, those constant messaging that, you know, cow is a holy animal and they, they eat it. So you can't be going and eating at their place, you know. So it had affected me in, in some way. And when I was teaching these young kids uh, in, in Govandi, I also see that happening. So, so that always bothered me that over these years, nothing has changed much. You know, the myths, the stereotypes have continued, you know, and you need an educator over there. Seeds of Peace uh, started in 1993 uh, by a US-based journalist called John Wallach. And um, John is no more with us uh, today, but John was a firm believer of dialogue. Uh, and, and he wrote uh, three books about the Middle East and the Israel-Palestine conflict. Uh, and he, he understood that only dialogue between the younger generation can you know, transform the conflict because conflict is transgenerational. It, it passes from one generation to the other. If we don't have that exposure uh, for the younger generation, to meet the other side, then no change is possible. So with this thought in 1993, he started this camp uh, in, in the United States, uh, in, in the state of Maine. The first camp happened between Israelis and Palestinian youth. You know, there were a few Egyptians and few Americans. And the whole idea is to meet your so-called enemy face to face and have a dialogue, you know, and where it, and in the dialogue, we, we, um, focus on personal stories of transformation, you know, rather than talking about facts and textbooks and media narratives. So, so that's what, with that thought Seeds of Peace began and it's, it's a unique program which gives uh, youngsters from opposite sides of conflict an opportunity to come together and, you know, talk about their daily struggles and how the conflict has affected them. And currently we are in uh, working in Israel, Palestine, Egypt, Jordan, India, Pakistan, when they actually meet. Uh, and at, at surface, I would say they seem like goody goody and oh, India, Pakistan, we are meeting for the first time. But when it comes to dialogue, you know, so when they start talking about uh, the narratives that they have heard about partition, you know, um, about the history, so then they understand that, oh, the history is so different as it is portrayed in. Uh, these textbooks, the Pakistani textbooks are completely opposite to what we read in our history textbooks and vice versa, you know, so the, the narrative, the facts don't match, you know, even the, the wars that we have fought, uh, the facts, the, the things that we call facts are very different in, in their part of the world, you know, so at first these kids are like really shattered and they really start questioning, oh, I mean, the kind of education that I'm receiving, it's not fact or, you know, what are facts then? So it's kind of an eye-opening experience for them and it's very difficult for them to digest this. And it, it takes time. It's, it's a year-long peace fellowship where uh, they engage uh, with uh, what is peace, what is positive peace, what is negative peace, what is conflict, what are the tools that you can use to analyze conflict, what you can do about it, you know? Uh, then building skills like listening, mediation skills, negotiation skills, uh, non-violent communication. So there's a lot of uh, programs that we do with them. And a current program called the Samwad Project, it's, it's, a, it's a pioneer program. It's the first of its kind in, in the entire country. We are training them on interfaith dialogue facilitation. And we just finished the first phase of uh, eight weeks. Uh, every day we... Uh, not every day, every week, twice uh, we met online for two hours, so four hours a week. And plus, we gave them a lot of free read materials and all. And we created a very deepened understanding of what is interfaith. You know, it's various cross sections like the caste system that we have, 
uh, gender, sexuality. So these various cross sections, privilege, identity that go hand in hand with interfaith, we, we explore that layer by layer. Dialogue is the key. I am, uh, and through the Samvad project, I think we are experimenting that big time that if we uh, have that in adults, but of course, as we start with young students, that then it goes further translating into adults. Uh, at this young age, if this experience of dialogue is given to them, and even for the teachers, we have some programs we, where we train them on dialogue skills. So uh, I think that's, that's the way moving forward. Uh -huh.